Hello guys, and welcome back to Beyond the Realms. And no, I have not became a Saints fan, but I can tell you right now, I am for sure a New Orleans fan. I am tired beyond all fucking belief, man. I've dr driven so much over the last uh, four days. We just got back from New Orleans, Louisiana. It's about a 13-hour trip one way from here. Drove 2,200 miles total. <laughs> I mean, wow. It's like 800 miles down there. We drove around the city about 400 miles and then 800 miles back. Something like that. But it came out to like 2,200 miles. I can't count right now. Whatever. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, um, I got some cool video while I was there, guys. Uh, I'm not going to beat around the bush here and waste too much time. Um, I got to go and see some of the shooting locations from Fulci's The Beyond. Uh, it wasn't the only thing we saw while I was there. We saw um, the interview with the Vampire House, uh, which was at Oak Alley Plantation. We saw um, the house, the main coven house from uh, American Horror Story Coven. Um, several locations from that show, uh, but I'm going to show you some pictures here first. Uh, the first picture will be um, when Emily, if you remember from the Beyond, when Emily's standing in the middle of the road, Katriana McCall, Katriana McCall pulls up to her, and it's on this long highway. Well, that is actually a bridge in uh, New Orleans that stretches across Lake Pontchartrain. It is the longest bridge in the world. It is 25 miles long. It's incredible. We had to go across this bridge to get to um, the house from the beyond, which we'll see video from. But yeah, the first picture is going to be of that bridge. The second picture is going to be from St. Louis Cemetery Number 1 in downtown New Orleans. It is a 250-year-old cemetery. I'll show you a picture, the full picture first, and then the side-by-side -side picture from the shot from the beyond. I actually found one of the exact locations from the beyond in this cemetery. It was incredible to find it. Um, and I just went off that picture. I knew it was shot in that cemetery. I went off of that picture. There's a building in the background. I went off that. But if you look at this picture and look at, like, the, there's four main uh, tombs where you can tell it's the exact spot. The two right up front and then the two behind the girl. You can see, like, exact inscriptions from the uh, tombs. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. And then after that, guys, I got a little video showing you around the Otis house, which is... The official house used in Full Cheese the Beyond. So check it out, guys. I hope you guys like this. Hello, guys. I am here in New Orleans, Louisiana. Andrew's here. Selena's roaming around somewhere. You can see this uh, lake behind us. Actually, I think that's... What about me? Yeah, Chef, too. Yes. I think that is the Mississippi River behind us. But we are at a very special place here today. This is just amazing. What is What I am standing at, looking at right in front of me, which I'm about to show you, is something that... This is a horror, a horror fan's wet dream. And I have a shirt on here which is significant to this. And without further ado, let's turn around here and let's show you. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is the house that was in Fulci's The Beyond. Live and in person. This is amazing. Uh, this place is called the Otis House. It is now a children's museum. They do tours here. But we came, it's on a Sunday, and on their website it said it was open, but it is actually not open today. As you can see, it's all fenced in. But that is the house, guys. And right there is where the scaffolding was set up. The painters fell off the scaffolding at the beginning of the movie. Um, wow, it's just amazing seeing this house in person. It's incredible. I just can't believe it. I'm in awe just getting to look at this house in person. The seven gates of hell. One of the seven gates of hell is right there in that house for crying out loud. It is, though. <sighs> but yeah, guys, I just want to do a quick video here and show this to you. This is amazing getting to see this, guys. Daddy? This is amazing. Daddy. Daddy. 
here is the back side of the house. Really nice out here. This house is huge. Really nice, awesome trees out here. Just gigantic trees. Just a beautiful area. This is like right in the middle of a campground. Like, like over back that way, there is a campground. There's a bunch of campers. So, yeah, it's, it's in a very nice area. It's about 40 minutes uh, north of New Orleans uh, in Madisonville, Louisiana. I know at the beginning I said I was in New Orleans. Well, that's where we are for our trip, but this is actually Madisonville, where this is at. So, I'll get one more shot here of the other side before we close this out. And here is the other side of the house, right over in that area is where I started on that side of the fence. So that's the front of the house. And I just showed you back over that way, and the other, that was the back side of the house, and this is the other side here. So as you can tell, it's a, it's a huge house, very beautiful, very well upkept. Um, this house was built in 1885. Um, Man, it is just, I can't say it enough, it is just amazing to be here and get to see the Beyond House in person. Wow. So I guess that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this short little video. I'm um, sorry I couldn't get up close. I wish I could get up there. Actually, uh, I thought about scaling that little fence, but now I'm going to... I'm going to be a law-abiding citizen. I'm going to respect the wishes of... Uh, the Otis house and not trespass to get a closer picture or video so but this is cool nonetheless I hope you guys enjoyed it take care guys